Hello, ladies and gentlemen, it's uh, David back for this game of... Uh, yes, I'm playing Amnesia The Dark Descent, the scary game that's scary. I haven't actually played this before, I mean, you can say I'm late to the party, but there's being late to the party, and then there's whatever the fuck my life is. Like, seriously, this, I've had this game for two years almost and haven't played it. So here we go, playing it for the channel. Um, the first episode, I have played the beginning of the game, so this first episode is just going to the beginning. I'll probably do some cuts, just so people can get an idea of the story if they haven't seen it at all already. So, this episode probably won't, probably nothing scary is going to happen. So if you, wait, the sc scary stuff is the next episode, make sure you subscribe to that. That's probably coming soon, if I have the balls to play the game. <laughs> I mean, you think I'm exaggerating, no, this is quite a scary game, because I have to start a new game, because it's um, a new thing. I'm of the Dark Descent, made by Frictional Games. You can download it on Steam, link in the description, you can download it from the website, also a link in the description, they've released it on a bunch of platforms, and now you can pre-release Amnesia 2, a machine for pigs, which is coming out in a couple of weeks' time, I've forgotten the exact date, but it'll be out soon, you can pre-pre-order it, and I'm, I'm very excited for that. So Don't I'm forget. playing this now. Some things mustn't be forgotten. The shadow hunting me. I must hurry. My name is Daniel. I live in London at... at... Uh, Mayfair. What have I done? This is crazy. Don't forget. Don't forget. I must stop him. Focus. My name is... is... I am Daniel. So here we go, straight into the game. You play as Daniel in the castle of Brennenberg. I'm not going to over explain the story because it will, you know, it'll explain throughout the, the game and you'll, you, you'll get to figure out what's going on. As for now, I'll just go ahead and play. It's designed to be very atmospheric, very immersive. It, it was, it's, in fact, frictional games are fantastic. They created the Penumbra series, which I probably will play, maybe. Oh god. <laughs> hmm. Oh yeah, there's um, you can like light candles and crap. Uh -huh, okay, so tab for inventory. That's your health, that's your sanity. Oil over here for your lantern, which you get. Uh, tinder boxes you can use to light crap in the journal, you can check out all your crap. There you go, wonderful. Get just getting much grip with this game. This game's is the. This game's. This game is a great physics engine, I, I love it, it's brilliant. You can like throw the plant pots and crap, and it's brilliant. So here you go, when grabbing an object, press right mouse to throw it. And it'll some crap on the top. Obviously, I wouldn't be looking at it because I played this game a ton. But well, I say a ton. I played a couple of hours. I was messing around with the map editor actually. Huh? Here you go, tinder box, which I can use to not light this candle because this candle's already lit. But you get the idea with the tinder boxes. You can throw the chairs around and stuff. So I, this is obviously good for making barriers and stuff. If you don't know anything about this game, I mean, spoiler alert: there are monsters in it. <laughs> what horror game doesn't have monsters? It's a good question. I don't know, I guess psychological horrors, like thriller kind of things, don't have monsters in them. I can't think of any offhand, but um, I'm sure they exist. No. Don't. Don't. No. Don't fall down. That's highly inconvenient. You can also take the heads off these guys. And use them to knock the heads off the other guys. <laughs> Alternatively, you could um, just carry them around and throw them at stuff. A door. Yeah, not a lot of scary stuff happens at the beginning of this game. I, I'll, I'll probably condense this down into one episode with a few cuts and stuff, so that'll be alright for the viewers. It won't be too painful. As I said, the physics in this game is, is wonderful. You can, like, knock the chandelier about and stuff. It's quite an old game. I think it was Spectre 2009 and the Justine expansion came out and you can smash stuff. Justine expansion came out, um, which I might play. So, yeah. Um... <laughs> I don't have the most highly specced computer, but it can it can certainly handle amnesia because it was you know it's quite an old game. It old and great. I mean, you, uh, some of the old ga old games are the best. I mean, you know, you Super Mario Sunshine. If, if anyone's been keeping up with that on my channel, which I haven't uploaded for a while, I was going to say years, but it's yeah, I haven't had the channel for years. No, I have actually. I had the channel for over a year. I didn't do anything for a very l I didn't do anything with it for a very long time, and. Uh, ominous staircase. 
I love how you're... Oh, could you see the vision drifting side to side here? It's quite disorienting and... You know, when you get, like, proper into this game, you can get immersed in it. I've got quite a big monitor, so it should be alright for me. I heard something walking. When I played this before, I didn't hear anything walking. I didn't hear anything. I just heard the weird, creepy sound effects. The, the, the grinding of the castle and stuff. Hmm. Don't know if I want to get involved with that. Oh, God. That... I knew that was in... I knew I knew this was in here. I knew it. I, it still still got me, though. It still got me as I came in. That It, it, it just scared the bejeebus out of me as I came in. Oh, it's just the shadows. This game is very well done. Frictional games, they've spent a lot of time on this. It's... That's a wonderful, wonderful game. The physics is, is nice, as I've said before. I d I'm obsessed with, like, game mechanics and crap. You, you can you can ignore me if you want. Mute my... Mute, mute me. No. <laughs> Please don't. Candle chandelier goes out. And the creepy buttons are creepy as hell. Oh, there's a wardrobe there. Now, wardrobes are always a very interesting thing, because you can hide in them. Like, uh... Like so. Yeah, well... Yeah, that's that. <laughs> oh, you're gonna hear a lot of my nervous laugh in this game. <laughs> Come on, hurry up, Daniel. There is a sprint function, but sometimes you, like, you're limited on the sprinting when you're in like story bits or bits that explain stuff. Kind of more scared when I do have to sprint, because you know, the, the, the sprinting is... You know, it means you have to run away from something. <sighs> God. Right, I can sprint here. Yeah, very creepy door with wind coming out of it and a leaky roof. Yeah, yeah, very nice. I may act very, um, you know, confident about this game now, but... Oh, cockroach, yeah. Get, get, go. Go away. Go away. Oh, they did. They did go away. They just did what I said. It's always a very strange hang on a second. I'm just gonna... Check if it's still recording, there we go. It seems very atmospheric, very creepy, and there's a lot of sound and stuff involved in the atmosphere. Damn, can't break the window with the book. <laughs> Don't think it's that heavy. But... Ah, I remember this. You can rotate things with the uh, with the mouse and R, and then you can scroll to zoom. This is um, I don't know. Does it look like a? It's got like herbs and stuff on it. It might be a. A botanical book or something. God. There's a very strong wind around. Oh, there you go. Lantern. Wonderful. What's this? What is this? What is this? Turn around. I guess there's a lot of Latin on these books and stuff. Isn't there? What's that say? Veggie. Veggie. Veggie tail. Unless I can't read. Uh, yeah, look. The botanical stuff. There's. You see? This isn't that scary, it's just a botanical garden around us, so there's probably not. Ah, <sighs> dear. Ah, there we go, lantern. Wunderbar. <laughs> oh, creepy. Better not waste my lantern oil, let's just have a little tab and check. The, yeah, there we go. There's our lantern oil. <laughs> Castle is in rack and ruin. Look at the chest. Oh, it's locked or something. No. I'm not gonna light that. What's the point? It's pretty bright in here. Aha! There's a tinder box behind those boxes. I 
acting like I don't know. Is anyone going to believe me? <laughs> Let's be honest. After I said that I played the first bit of this game. I haven't actually played that much of this game. I've only played the first bit, so I don't really know all the horror that is awaiting me. <laughs> no, there's nothing up here. Good, 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 there's nothing up here. Didn't want anything to be up here. There's a fire here. We set this box on fire. I tried this a million times, you can't. Ooh, anything behind here? Back here? No? Ah, if there's stuff going on that requires like graphics power and stuff, you might hear a bit of um, a weird sound. It's because my graphics card is um, it's got quite a loud fan. Probably won't come through on the microphone because my microphone doesn't pick up anything because you know the Windows 7 glitch thing. And stuff. 19th of August, 1839. I wish I could ask how much you remember. I don't know if there will be anything left after I consume this drink. Don't be afraid, Daniel. I can't tell you why, but know this. I choose to forget. Try to find comfort and strength in that fact. There is a purpose. You are my final effort to put things right. God willing, the name Alexander of Brandenburg still invokes bitter anger in you. If not, this will sound horrible. Go to the inner sanctum. Find Alexander and kill him. His body is old and weak, and yours, young and strong. He will be no match for you. One last thing. A shadow is following you. It's a living nightmare, breaking down reality. I have tried everything, and there is no way to fight back. You need to escape it as long as you can. Redeem us both. Daniel. Descend into the darkness where Alexander waits and murder him. Your former self, Daniel. Alrighty, there you go, a bit of story. Alexander, nasty guy, we have to go kill him. There you go. That's the whole thing explained in a couple of words. Wow, I can pull all of these off the shelf here. Let's, let's just go ahead and do that. Actually, that's nice, I should have waste the time. They don't do anything. So, yeah, oh. Okay. What was I saying? Oh yeah, my graphics card. Because my graphics card um, interferes with my sound card and sometimes you hear funny buzzing and crap. Um, did it not work? Ah, there we go. That's nice, that's nice. Secret, secret wall there. Funny buzzing and stuff. Yes. By the way, uh, on the subject of the notes, that's the last note I'm going to like let the game go through, even if it's commentated. I'm just going to let you pause the video on the note, on the thing that you want to see, and uh, you'll be alright with that, I'm sure. Alright, so here's the main hall thing. I'm just going to hide in this corner and uh, end the recording of the first episode here. I don't know how long it's been. I'll fix it in post or whatever. There you go, this has been Amnesia. Make sure to subscribe and like if you like it. There'll be the scary episodes are coming up soon. So this is just an intro episode for all the people who haven't like seen the game before. I explained that at the beginning. I'll put that in the description. Links and stuff in the description to the game. Hope you enjoy it. I'm gonna do the scary stuff in the next episode. As always, thanks for watching. That's that's theft. I can't actually upload that. <laughs>